Brothers and sisters, we live in a time of great anticipation. Many are asking, are we in the last days? The Bible, from the Old Testament prophets to the teachings of Jesus Christ, gives us clear signs to watch for. These signs point to a culmination of history, the coming rapture of the church, and the eventual return of Christ to establish his kingdom. Today, we'll explore the prophetic events and signs that Scripture reveals, particularly from the books of Daniel, Revelation, and the Gospels. As we delve into these passages, we will seek to understand how these signs align with our current world and how we, as believers, should respond. Number 1. The Beginning of Sorrows, Jesus' Warning, Matthew 24, 4-14 our journey starts with the words of Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew, where he outlines what he calls the beginning of sorrows. In Matthew 24, his disciples ask him, What will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Matthew 24, 3. Jesus responds by describing a series of global events that would precede his return. Jesus warns of false Christs who will deceive many, wars and rumors of wars, famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. Matthew 24, 5-7. These events, though terrifying, are described as just the beginning. They are like birth pangs, increasing in intensity as we approach the rapture and the great tribulation. In our time, we see such events unfolding. Wars rage, natural disasters are rampant, and deception is at an all-time high. These are not just random occurrences, but signs that the world is approaching its final days before the rapture. 2. The Prophecy of Daniel a timeline for the end, Daniel 9, 24-27. Next, we turn to the prophet Daniel, whose visions offer crucial insight into the end times. Daniel 9 speaks of a prophetic timeline known as the 70 weeks. These weeks represent groups of seven years, and they describe the unfolding of God's plan for Israel and the world. Daniel writes, Seventy weeks have been decreed for your people and your holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sin, to make atonement for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy place. Daniel 9, 24, NASB. The final week, or seven years, is often understood as the Great Tribulation, a period of intense judgment on the earth before Christ's return. Before this time, the church will be raptured, caught up to meet Christ in the air, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-17 ASB. This event marks the end of the current age of grace and the beginning of God's final dealings with the earth. Number three, the rise of the Antichrist, a sign from Revelation. Revelation 13, 1 to 8. One of the most significant signs of the end times is the emergence of a world leader, often referred to as the Antichrist. In Revelation 13, John describes a beast rising out of the sea, symbolizing a political leader who will gain global power. Revelation says, and the whole earth was amazed and followed after the beast. They worshipped the dragon because he gave his authority to the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who is able to wage war with him? Revelation 13, 3-4, NASB This figure will deceive the nations, perform miraculous signs, and demand worship, setting himself against God. While we do not yet see this figure fully revealed, the global political landscape seems to be moving toward a centralized power structure. We should be vigilant, for the Antichrist will not fully come to power until after the rapture, but the groundwork is already being laid. For apostasy and lawlessness, signs in the church and the world, 2 Thessalonians 2, 1-4. Paul also speaks of another key sign, the great apostasy, or falling away, that will take place before the end. In 2 Thessalonians, Paul writes, let no one in any way deceive you, for it will not come unless the apostasy comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction. 2 Thessalonians 2.3 This falling away will be marked by a rejection of sound doctrine and the rise of false teachings even within the church.